So release of certain tax benefits revoked a custodial parent who has revoked their previous release of a claim to certain tax benefits for the child must include a copy of the revocation with their return. So now they got the, something got mad. They got a new lawyer and the new lawyer said, what are you doing for crying out loud? <laughs> and we got And so then they revoked it. So for details, you can see form 8332 for that one. So exception uh, uh, to citizen tests. So now we saw that there was a citizen test. Uh, and again, that's another area where you could find uh, gray points that you would do further research on. So if you are a U.S. citizen, a U.S. national, and your adopted child lived with you all year as a member of your household, that child meets the requirement to be a U.S. citizen in step two, question one, step three, question two, step four, question two, and step five, question two, which are all basically the same questions in our questionnaire that we talked about in a prior presentation. So exception to gross income test. So if your relative, including person who lived with you all year as a member of your household is permanently and totally disabled to find later certain income for service performed at a sheltered uh, workshop may be excluded for this test. So again, we saw that there was uh, a gross income test to some of the question points to see whether they qualify as a dependent. So you could have an exception to some of those items in certain situations. Exception to time lived with you. So we saw that, we, we, for example, they had to live with you for half the year and whatnot. And again, you can imagine scenarios where they didn't live with you for half the year for weird things where they would have lived with you for half the year. And does that count to be allowed to have them as a dependent? Okay, let's check it out. Temporary absences by you or the other person for special circumstances such as school, vacation. So they were at school, they went on vacation, but they still would have lived with me if, they, if I didn't send them off to vacation. <laughs> it's a mandatory vacation. Get that kid on vacation. Business, uh, medical care. So they were in the hospital. They would have been home, but they were gone for medical care. Military service or detention in a juvenile facility. They were in juvie. What do you want me to do? <laughs> they, were, they would have been home, but they were in juvie. Okay, so they all count as time the person lived with you. So also see children of divorced or separated parents earlier or kidnapped child later. So if the person meets all other requirements to be your qualifying child, but was born or died in 2023, the person is considered to have lived with you for more than half of two. So now you have a situation, they, you have the child, they lived with you, but you're saying more than half the year, but the child died in 2023. Well, well, that's going to make it harder for them to say they lived with you for more than half the year. Do you have to carry like the ashes in your living room uh, until you put, for, you know, for like part of the year? Well, no. So that circumstance, what do we have to do? Well, so if the person meets all the requirements to your qualifying child, but was born or died in 2023, the person is considered to have lived with you for more than half of 2023. If your home was this person's home for more than half the time the person was alive which makes sense, right? So now they were alive half the year 